Sadness is an emotion that, as a society, most people don't want. It's something that we constantly fight against in a competitive and capitalist society, as it degrades both at the same time. People who are sad usually want to be happy, but as a society, I think we deeply struggle to bring people the rest that they need. I think people are tricked into this idea that we need to be uplifted in order to find peace, but I believe it couldn't be further from the truth. I've had many people in my life say that they don't like sad music, sad stories, or sad experiences downright, and that, that honestly baffles me. So I want to explain to them uh, why emotional slash depressing art forms are beautiful, the significance of it in our society, and I think how it cures the very sadness that we run away from in our culture. One of the big things that I want to address is the choice to deny sadness for yourself. Denial, as we all know, is never productive. One of the problems I see stemming from our culture is actively deciding not to be sad. While this may seem to be the right step to take, it unfortunately does not deal with the issue of why X person is sad in the first place. It is easy to go to a funny video and a happy story or a catchy song to ward off the feeling. And you could call the absence of sadness happiness. But I genuinely hope nobody does that. Uplifting somebody only works if you remove the weights chaining them down, and happy stories and music, more often than not, don't do that. And every time they get ignored, it, they only get heavier. If you're a person who generally consumes that type of media, it can feel like your value as a person diminishes when your life is in an altered state than you're used to. This is not to say all controversial media is good, obviously, but there is a selective ignorance when somebody, quote, chooses to be happy. Art, no matter what medium, should never be ignorant of its audience. A website called narrativefirst.com describes it perfectly. Quote, every complete story or art form is an analogy to a single human trying to solve a problem. Constructing them to reflect the mind's problem-solving process ensures the greatest amount of effectiveness, end quote. Choosing to be happy will never be effective in this regard, because you cannot be ignorant and try to solve a problem. If your art doesn't allow a person to do this, then making them sad is pointless and wrong. Conflict offers a chance to win over it. Again, Narrative First describes it perfectly. Quote, Sensing deviations from this organic and observable phenomenon, they correct and realign the actions and decisions within their narratives to reflect our own choices. And that is how a great story or art form connects with us deeply on an emotional level. We recognize ourselves. If you want a prime example of this, I encourage you to view a video uploaded by Laika Ayumi. I believe that's how it's pronounced. But the song is titled uh, Take Me Somewhere Nice by a band called Mogwai. It has over 70 million views. If you view the comment section of that video, you will find an overabundantly compassionate version of humanity. So many people's problems on display and only acceptance is actually present. No comment section on this site will rival in its ability to turn you into a better person. And that's the beautiful thing about sad art forms. They seek out the truth in the deepest parts in people, even if it's ugly and unwanted. Any work of art where people can come together and accept who they are can accept who other people are as well. And the sight is wondrous and is a huge step in finding peace with yourself. That's why I hate some popular songs and movies and stories and basically the overall entitled mentality here in the United States at least. Sadness feels strictly forbidden in most cases. And even when it happens, it doesn't really work because it's typically ignorant of its audience's problems and subliminally trains us to believe that being ignorant is part of the solution. Art can be so much more than that. You may not realize it, but a huge part in overcoming sadness is experiencing it with other people. Crying has been scientifically proven to improve your condition and keeps you from being alone, which is where a lot of sadness usually stems from, in my opinion. Interacting with other people improves mental development and is a sign of love from one person to another. Love is hard to accept in many cases, that is very true, and maybe that's why some people don't like sadness for what it is. But if you want to find happiness, it's something you eventually have to accept. 
This is what separates an art form from just being, quote, a downer to an unforgettable experience. Uh, forgettable. Unforgettable. This is what separates an art form from being just, quote, a downer to an unforgettable experience. I've talked about this before in my E3 video, but love is all you need to create something fantastic. The same goes for experiencing art forms as well. If you want an in-depth analysis of this, the US National Library of Medicine posted an article on how different mediums of art actually helps with different forms of grief and anxiety. I encourage you to read it. Here's one quote from it. Quote, the social support that can be derived from one's community is an important but much ignored area of research. Community leaders can partner with researchers to create a healthcare agenda that can have an impact on not only those who are ill in hospitals, but those in the community who want to experience greater wellness. I am not a doctor in any way. The sadness that I'm referring to does not refer to clinical and psychological depression. I'm really sorry if you came here looking for help with those issues. I can only imagine the horrors that you must have lived through. But just like it says here, seeking out help is always a great start. I will include links below if you want to seek help, which you absolutely should. But in conclusion, Sadness should never be alienated. It should never be ignored or you ignore it. I encourage you to embrace it and the art that encourages you to embrace it. For you will find truths leading to your happiness and your peace as well as others. Please don't discredit an idea simply because of how it makes you feel at the time. And don't treat sadness as a negative aspect in artistic medium. Sadness is simply a stepping stone towards peace and anything that leads you towards peace is an act of love. Thank you guys for listening. Enjoy your day.